The United States Embassy in Port of Spain has been processing visas throughout the pandemic. This, according to the embassy's consular chief, Cindy Joff. Ms. Joff outlined the new requirements for persons traveling to the United States. Starting um, in October, which is, as you know, just in a few days, there will also be a requirement for um, immigrants. Those are people who are moving permanently to the United States. Beginning in October, they will have to complete um, a full vaccination cycle for, um, for COVID, in addition to other vaccinations. It's always been a requirement. The consular chief noted that when Trinidad and Tobago's borders reopened, the embassy saw a 300% increase in visa applications. Vaccines, uh, the guidance that we have from the Department of State is that all WHO vaccines will be approved for immigration purposes. And, and like I said before, any information on the non-immigrant, those are your tourists, that information um, will be available on all of our social media pages. Um, we will be getting that information out to everyone as soon as possible. Non-immigrant visas also include those for students, emergency and exchange visas.